This is a charcoal reduction drawing. So you start off with a load of charcoal on the paper and then you gradually reduce it back using a rubber. So you're drawing consciously with a rubber as well as then adding in darker um, tones with, with more charcoal. So I began by rubbing charcoal all over the paper and I, I rub it in with a cloth so that I get really a mid-tone. It's not going to be your darkest tone, it's really going to be the sort of mid-grey point of the drawing. And you can see that straight away I was just looking for the large areas of lightest tone. And I was working with um, a regular kind of school eraser, so quite a hard rubber. Um, and I took out the whole section down the left hand side which defined the edge of the statue that I was working from a picture of. And then started putting in the, the blocks of lightest tone as well. And then at this point I took away another section of the background uh, where there was a shadow um, being cast. And as soon as I did this it seemed to make the whole thing look a lot more three-dimensional and kind of throw it into relief. So do bear in mind that you're working across the entire drawing here and look at not only the tone on the object that you're drawing but also look at the, the tone which surrounds it and defines it. And you can see by this stage I've started to draw in with some extra charcoal to give it a bit of definition. And the tool that I'm using is, um, it looks like a pen, it's actually an eraser in a pen holder. Um, I like to work in quite a linear way and so this allows me to really draw with the eraser and kind of carve out those, those highlights in the drawing. So by this stage of the drawing I'm really working back and forth between the charcoal and the eraser. This is that kind of push and pull stage of the drawing um, where you're adding and taking away, um, really responding to what's in front of you. And you can see me here working with a blending stick. I tend to find um, when you use your fingers with charcoal it tends to take away a layer of the charcoal and make it lighter. A blending stick allows you to move the charcoal around, kind of disturb the surface of the marks that you've put down without losing the intensity of the tone. So one of the things I've tried to do in this drawing is to keep the surface of the drawing quite lively. Sometimes I feel my charcoal drawings look a bit flat. So I've varied the, the size and the scale of the marks that I've made, um, the direction, the tone, some of the tone I've taken it right back to the white paper, some is it's a range of greys. And here you can just see me using a little bit of masking tape. So put the tape on your clothes so you take away some of the stickiness and draw on the back using um, a pen or a biro. And it will just lift out those very white highlights for you so you can get really fine lines. And hopefully on the finished drawing you'll see that it's really a combination of line and tone. The lines keep the surface of the drawing looking visually interesting, but it's underpinned by this big block of tone that we started off with, which has created the form.